Hi, I'm Nettie. The music space Lysis puts out has grown a lot on me. Ranging from earlier this year's Voltage 003 to more recently Dominate, this guy puts out really good music when he does it. So logically, I think it's only fair to make a video on his style. Today, we're going to make some dubstep like space laces. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start with a drum beat. All right, so let's start making a bass pattern thing. Let's do some like FM synthesis stuff. So let's get an FM from B and just like, maybe we can do like a really high note, like. Well, let's actually not do the FM. Okay, and then let's EQ this. And then let's kind of process it a little bit with an amp. Maybe a fat rack. And let's also do some volume automation. Uh, maybe we can add some ping pong delay to this. And let's add a little bit of reverb. Let's delete this like LFO modulation on the pitch. And let's kind of like just use like a pitch bend and then make it that way. And let's get another serum. And now let's make like a super like gritty bass. And then let's get a bit of noise. And then we'll kind of do this. Let's use a sine wave instead. All right, cool. Let's get an amp and then let's group this and then create a new chain. And then in this like parallel chain, we'll get like just this sub here. And then get that a little bit louder with a saturator. And then let's put an EQ8 right here. Okay, let's get an erosion. And maybe another one here. And maybe another amp. This sound is way too lame. Maybe we can do one of these things where we like make this a square wave and then modulate it like super fast. Maybe a bit of disperser. A few more. Maybe we can duplicate this sound and then we'll make this like an attack bass. So let's make this a half note long. Let's see, maybe we can uh, change kind of the timbre of this. We're kind of like shooting for like a lack of presence in like the low mids kind of area. Like, that'll give you kind of like the space laces mix. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. Let's see if we can also add like a weird like ambience with a vocal. Nice, nice. Yeah, maybe like that. And then instead of having a reverse, we can like reverb it out. I feel like this can go a bit higher. Okay, and then right here, let's cut everything out. And then we'll make kind of like a, like a sort of complex rhythm. So let's duplicate this thing. And then let's see if we can just go in and like automate it so that the, uh, the volume of the saw wave dips when the noise is still gonna be on. Yeah, like that, and then maybe like a different wavetable. Yeah, like that. Maybe we can do like a tiny little pitch bend on this. Like that. Yeah, we need to put like a like a weird like glitch on here. Maybe we can do like a serum, do some FM stuff, get it like on these like really high pitches. The serum will like glitch out and create like really weird tones and we'll use that. Let's end an amp. Yeah, there we go. That's dope. Let's duplicate that. Okay, and then let's and then let's break. All right, and then that's <clears throat> okay. And then right here we'll add a little break. So let's delete this, and then let's add a little vocal in. All right, there we go. And then let's like OTT the shit out of this. Maybe like a fat rack. Let's take this thing and then duplicate it, and let's see if we can just like go nuts with this to kind of fill up the background uh, a little bit. Yeah, kind of like that. Alright, cool. And then let's duplicate this over. And then let's make a variation to this. Um, so maybe we can just go in and like change the pitch. Let's slap in a little uh, little sample here. Oh shit. Here we go again. And then we'll put that in place of this sample. Oh shit. Here we go again. Alright, and just like that, I pretty much think we're done. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this track. Oh, shit. Here we go again. 
And just like that, we've made a drop like space laces. Let me know if you liked it with a comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye. That's your bitch.